welcome back to my channel. I'm James, and this channel's for everyone that loves great movies and great TV series that are released all over the world. Today we've got a special dual review. I'm going to be diving into and doing a special review on two cult classic movies that have really grown in cult status since they were originally released. And they are really kind of good, just enjoyable films. One of those kind of more a campy, maybe slight campy B-horror movie. The other one's more of a mystery thriller suspense. But they're really well done films and I was really curious to get these in and see what the quality of these are now that they've been scanned and brand new restorations to put on 4K Ultra HD. So today we're going to deep dive into Ticks on 4K Ultra HD. And this is the brand new 4K Ultra HD release of Ticks has a brand new restoration, a brand new scan, and a remaster on this 4K Ultra HD release. So I was excited to dive into this one and see how this looks. We're also going to be diving into Summer of 84. And this is also the brand new 4K Ultra HD release. So I was really curious to see how this looked, if this is worth the upgrades. So today on both Tix and Summer of 84, we're going to be diving in and doing my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons on these. I'm going to be comparing these to the original Blu-ray releases to let you know if this is something that's worth spending the money for the upgrade. I'm going to give you my thoughts on each movie, give you a movie review on each of the movies while I'm going through that image comparison. I'm going to do a quick unboxing on both of them, kind of show you what comes in each set, let you know what those are. And then I'm going to run down through the specs of each release. And I'm going to go through the quality, the sound options, if there's subtitles, all that good stuff, run down that through you. And then at the end, I'm going to wrap it up with my review score and give you my final thoughts on each film. And I'm going to do these as individual reviews. And we're going to start off with ticks first and then do Summer of 84 later on. But we're doing it as a combo video. So at the end of each review, I'll give you the review score for that specific release on its own. And there is some varying quality between them and some interesting things after I did my testing that I found out about each one of these. So you want to make sure to stick through the whole review so you don't miss out on any of that. Now I do want to start off by also saying a huge shout out to Vinegar Syndrome for sending these both to me for review. And as I kind of talked about on the channel earlier on my social media networks, both on Twitter and Instagram, and if you don't follow me on those, make sure to follow me on one of those. I post a lot of stuff about what I'm working on and hidden things, especially on my Twitter. I post on there a whole lot. So if you haven't started following me on Twitter yet, make sure to go and follow me on there. There's a lot of extra content about reviews and things like that that I post on there. So huge shout out to Vinegar Syndrome. I just want to say thanks for sending these to me early for review. But as always, I'll let all of you know. Even though something's sent to me for review, it does not affect my review score. I appreciate when companies send these to me for review, but that never affects my review score and I'll always be upfront and honest with you about what I see, what I hear, and what I get from my testing on these to let you know if these are something you're going to want to spend the money to upgrade to if you already own the previous Blu-rays, or if you haven't seen these before, if these are something you're going to want to add to your collection and if they're worth picking up and watching. So we're going to start off with ticks on 4K Ultra HD first. And then we're going to be comparing this to the original Olive Films Blu-ray release that came out. And I originally got that when it originally came out a long time ago. I wasn't aware that that original Olive Films Blu-ray had become so limited and out of print. So I was very appreciative that Vinegar Syndrome went back and rescanned this and did a whole new 4K restoration for this because that original Olive Films Blu-ray release was never a stunner. It looked okay, but it really, really had a desaturated image. It had a very soft image and really just was not great looking overall. Now, you're going to see the screenshots above of this new Tix 4K Ultra HD in comparison to that Blu-ray from Olive Films. The first thing you're going to notice is, is the blacks definitely have more inky and darker saturation to those blacks. The lights definitely look lighter and the skin tones and everything else just look more natural. On that original Olive Films Blu-ray release, the skin tones had a very grayish tone to them. They almost looked um, kind of deadish and grayish. It, it, wasn't, it just wasn't a great release. On this new scan that Vinegar Syndrome did, it really does bring out the natural skin tones better. It brought out the lights to darks like you see in the shadows and things like that. It definitely brought the more contrast between them. Like you'll see where there's a light in the scene and then darkness behind it. You can see the lights because of the HDR and this so much better where it stands out and shines. Whereas the original Blu-ray release really didn't. It had more of a grayish look to the movie overall. 
And I've gotten a lot of Vinegar Syndrome 4K releases before this. I've been collecting them for a while. And I've gotten Rad and Tammy and the T-Rex. And I have liked their 4K releases. But some of their previous 4K Ultra HD releases that Vinegar Syndrome did, the HDR was kind of like burn your retinas, if you know what I mean. And in some ways that was good. But in some ways I felt like the HDR was overdone a little bit in some of their earlier releases. Well, I can tell you in ticks, they definitely have ironed things out quite a bit better. And in ticks, it does look very good. Um, I actually think of all of the Vinegar Syndrome 4K releases that I've gotten so far, I really feel like Tex really shines in the sense of they are really digging into and doing a whole lot better with the technology and the scans. And overall, in my opinion, it's not that the previous releases looked bad. It's just that the HDR was almost overblown, if that makes sense. Uh, it does look decent, but in this, it looks more natural. It looks like it should. Where the sunlight's coming in, yes, it's bright, and you could tell that it's the HDR, and it looks really good, but it's not so bright where it was like, man, you gotta almost like wear sunglasses to see it. And I'm kind of over-exaggerating it a little bit there, and I don't want you to get the wrong opinion about some of their previous releases, because they did look decent. But overall, I did feel like the HDR was really, really strong in those. This is, in my opinion, the best 4K Ultra HD release with the HDR implementation that Vinegar Syndrome has done yet. In comparison to all those other ones that I have, I went back and kind of sat down and watched them after getting this to kind of compare them side by side to see, hey, how does this one look? How does the HDR look on this? This one does look good. And Tix is kind of one of those 1993 monster horror B movies. And I'm trying to be careful when I say a B movie because some people get turned off by that. It's definitely one of those kind of direct to video or Saturday afternoon direct to TV movies. And it's grown in cult status because the creature effects in it are really well done and entertaining. I really think it's really, really a fun movie. And it's got Seth Green in it and a bunch of other actors in it that you'll recognize. And it's just a really enjoyable watch. No, it's not gonna win Academy Awards, but I'm one of those fans of films that I can sit down and watch something that's kind of more in the B area and still enjoy it. And this one is a very light B. What I mean is, is it's still very well done. It's not so campy or so overdone that you can't enjoy it. But if you like things like these like kind of horror monster movies, it's got some goo effects, kind of like aliens that I really thought was well done, some creature effects that I thought was great. And for a 1993 creature feature, I think it's great, and it has grown in cult status hugely over the years, and it's been really hard to find. That's why that Blu-ray that came out from Olive Films went out of print and was selling for like 200 bucks for a long time. Now, because of this new release from Vinegar Syndrome, that price has gone way down. Now they're selling for right around 40 bucks. But to be honest with you, there's no reason to spend your money for that Olive Films Blu-ray release when this is available because this does come with a brand new Blu-ray release in this as well. So. Regardless of whether you own Blu-ray or 4K, this is the set you're going to want to pick up if you like Tix or you want to check this out because it includes the 4K and the Blu-ray all in the same set. Now, as always for every review I do, I will have the link listed in the description section right below this video. So if you're wanting to pick this release up, make sure to go down to the description section right below this video. There's a little arrow down. You open that up and I will have these all listed out. I will also put the Blu-ray release from Olive Films and then the original Blu-ray release from Summer of 84 that I'm going to get to later on. I'll put all those down in the description section below as well. So no matter what you want to pick up, when you get done watching this review, if you want to buy any of these, they'll be listed right down there in the description section below. Made it nice and easy. You click on those, it takes you straight out to Amazon to get them. Now, Tix runs for about 94 minutes, so it's a pretty fast-moving creature feature. It's a fun, enjoyable ride. I really do think it's a great Saturday afternoon. You just sit back. If you like creature features, this one's really well done, and I love the cover art on this. I really think Vinegar Syndrome had the best cover art they've done yet on this release. Of all their other 4K releases, I liked some of the cover art, but this one really does harken back to the 90s. When I used to go into, like, Blockbuster and Hollywood video and you'd be browsing through the VHSs and DVDs, man, this cover would have made me pick it off the shelf and rent it. And that's really what this harkens back to. And I really do like it. It's such a like, man, the cover is bigger than the movie was type thing. And that's what I love about it. On the side here, it does say ticks and green. Really like that. Back ticks, it talks about it. And here is something interesting about this release, which I was surprised about. They did a brand new 4K scan from its original 35 millimeter interpositive. I always appreciate when a company goes back, scans the original film elements, 
to create these new 4K releases, and this one does shine, and here's why. It retains the original film grain. I've talked about this a lot over the years on the channels. We don't want them to basically DNR or use the program called NEAT that gets rid of film grain or tries to remove the film grain, because when they do that, it loses parts of the details and parts of the film elements that existed from the years when it was filmed. And I just recently did a review on The Outsiders. That was a great restoration by Francis Ford Coppola. Just a great, great job they did on that. And I was just recently talking to the head of the restoration of that film at American Zoetrope, who worked directly with Francis Ford Coppola, the company that he owns, and he's the head of it. We were having a conversation about it, and he agrees that too many companies have relied on removing film grain from these older films. Now, this one is 1993, so it wasn't nearly as heavy the film grain as something from like 1983, like The Outsiders was, but it still applies to this. And Vinegar Syndrome did a good job not removing that film grain. They did leave it so it leaves the natural film grain in it without it deteriorating from the details in their faces and the skin and the hair. And so overall, Vinegar Syndrome, thumbs up on that. You left it in there and I'm happy to say the film does look the best it's ever looked. As you probably noticed by those screenshots above, it really does look great. And it does have an overall better, just natural image to it. When I tested all this and went through this and went screenshot to screenshot, I did think overall it brought more natural tones to it. Because that original, basically, Olive Films Blu-ray was so desaturated and just really had a bad overall image to it, in my opinion, this one, they didn't have to do much other than scan it and it just naturally brought so much to it with HDR having more color levels and obviously having more different color options and then the different color saturations. That makes a big difference on this and it just looks more natural overall downright hands down better than any of that previous Blu-ray release before. Now getting inside here, it does come with some really cool cover art. This says, I'm infested. That's obviously from one of the characters in it that gets bit and gets infested. Anyhow, I love that cover art. And then I love how they did different cover art on the 4K Ultra HD with the front cover art. So you do get two different cover arts to show off the difference between the Blu-ray and the 4K. And for all my international audience, you're gonna like this. It is region free. Both discs are completely region free. So no matter where you live in the world, you can import it from that link I put in the description section below and have it shipped anywhere in the world. So that's a huge thing. I know a lot of you love to import these and collect these like I do. Both discs are region free. And on the new Blu-ray, you do get the 4K scan on the Blu-ray, but obviously it's gonna be in 1080p, kind of like dumbed down almost from the 4K so that it's on 1080p Blu-ray. But for future-proofing yourself, because a lot of these releases are limited from Vinegar Syndrome, you do get both options. So you can buy this, add this to your collection, and then you'll have both options so you can watch it, and then when you upgrade later on to 4K, you'll already own that, and you won't have to pay the later on prices that are gonna be 100, 200 bucks from then on. Now, the 4K disc in this is a BD66, and the Blu-ray in this is a BD50. Audio option-wise, you do get English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0, and that's a 48 kilohertz, 24-bit mix, and it does sound good. You can hear everything clearly, but just remember it's not a brand new 5.1 mix or anything like that. It is a 2.0 mix. So because of that, there was limitations on the audio, but it did sound decent. You could hear it clearly. I didn't notice any issues with audio sync or lip issues or lip sync issues. Subtitles on the disc. You do get English subtitles on it. So I am happy to announce they did include English subtitles on this release. It is in the original aspect ratio of 1.85 to 1. They didn't cut it down or change that at all. Vinegar Syndrome left it in the original aspect ratio when they did that brand new scan from the 35 millimeter film elements. And I am happy to announce this is a native 4K 2160p. And as I talked about this being scanned and restored, that is the nice thing is this is not an upscale. It is a native 4K. Now, if you enjoy this video and you enjoy my content, please consider giving this video a super thanks. Right down below this video, there's a heart symbol that looks like this. And when you click on that, that helps to give a super thanks to the channel. All of that goes right back into the channel, helps me to keep providing you all of this special, early and exclusive content. And that also helps me to keep this channel going. So if you enjoy my content, please consider giving this video a super thanks by clicking that heart symbol button below. Also, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of this exclusive content. And like I said, I put the links for all of these listed in the description section right below this video. So if you're gonna pick this up, make sure to go down the description section right below and click through that link to Amazon. That does help out as well. This also utilizes HDR10. And that's where I talked about the HDR on this. It does look surprisingly great over that previous Olive Films Blu-ray release. 
Now for a film that came out in 1993, I really do enjoy it as a creature feature. It's a fun sit down. And if you've ever watched any of these like creature features, it's not gonna be like Aliens was just outright, just an awesome, amazing sci-fi film, but it is going to be an enjoyable watch. I recommend the film as just a fun sit down romp for a good film. For a B movie, it's a fun B movie. It's not too corny, too cheesy. Yes, you know what's gonna happen, but man, don't you know most of the time what's gonna happen in kind of those horror movies? Heck, you watch anything from Scream or Children of the Corn or any of those, and I've done all those reviews on the channel as well. So if you wanna check those out, make sure to go check those reviews out. But any of those like horror movies, things like that, you kind of know what to expect. And Tix brings that along, adding in some extra elements of goo that if you like like a lot of those like aliens feeling or goo elements, they really did a great job with the creatures in this and I really liked them a lot. And keep in mind the HDR that you're seeing above is only standard HDR. As I've talked about over the years on this channel, YouTube does not have the algorithm to show HDR 10 or any of that above. So HDR 10 plus, Dolby Vision, what you see above is only standard HDR. So what you're gonna see on your own home TV is always gonna look better on a 4K than what you see in those screenshots above. So it does look good. My review score for Ticks from Vinegar Syndrome on 4K Ultra HD and their Blu-ray release in here is an 8.4. And that's a good review score. This looks good, it's a B movie. It's not gonna win Oscars, like I said. It's not gonna win an Academy Award, but man, is it a fun time. And just one that I was really glad to get to add to my collection, because if you just want to sit down, not have to think, not have to worry about it being a deep story or anything like that, it's just fun, man. People die in like kind of gruesome ways by the ticks getting them and things like that. And it's a fun, other than as like a slasher flick, it's like a creature coming after them and who's gonna get it next? And oh, are they gonna see this? It's just a fun time. 8.4 is a great review score for Ticks from Vinegar Syndrome. If you haven't seen it, I would suggest picking up in this 4K release. Don't spend your money 50, 60 bucks for that Olive Films Blu-ray because you get the Blu-ray in this. So whether you have 4K or you don't, you wanna pick up this release. And I'll have that link in the description section below. But there is an option that comes with a limited edition slipcover around it. Mine's just the regular release, but you can get it and pay a little bit more for the slipcover on it. And I've heard that slipcover is pretty nice. It's thick, a lot like what Aero Video does in their limited edition sets. That's what Vinegar Syndrome does as well. So if you want to pick up that option, that'll be listed down in the description section below as well. And those outside slipcovers are pretty nice that go with these 4Ks. So I'll list that down there below. Make sure if you're going to pick it up to go down through that description section below. But 8.4 for Vinegar Syndrome's release of Ticks, I recommend picking this up. All right, next up we've got Summer of 84. And this says every serial killer lives next door to someone. I originally saw this when it originally came out. And then I got it on the limited run or limited print Blu-ray that they came out with. And I really enjoyed this film. It's kind of like a mixture of Stranger Things, kind of mixed with like an 80s, like kind of like psychological thriller mystery and just a tad bit of horror touched into this. So it's not too intense. It is a very lighthearted kind of mystery with kids in it. And if you like anything like basically Stranger Things is the best example I can think of of it, where it's got synthwave music that I absolutely love and everything hearkening back to the 80s. The film takes place in the 80s, the cars, the clothes, which I'm a huge child of the 80s. I love it, I grew up in it, and I just love everything about it. This film had such a great feeling to it, just like I feel like Stranger Things did, that really attracted me to it. And overall, it was a really enjoyable film in itself. And I don't wanna give the story away too much, because I really feel like this is one of those films when I went into it not knowing too much about it, I really enjoyed it so much more. And that's where I feel like sometimes theatrical trailers can give away too much. And that's where I feel like Summer of 84's theatrical trailer definitely gives away too much for the film. So I didn't actually see the theatrical trailer and went into it blind. It was just kind of one of those blind buys I got. And that's the best way I think to experience Summer of 84. Now, if you've already seen the theatrical trailer, then you're still gonna enjoy it. But I really felt like this was one of those films that I was happy I didn't know much about it, went into it, and I was really surprised at the quality of it. It's very well done. Now on this release, we're gonna be comparing it to the Blu-ray release that I bought originally. And that Blu-ray release, to be honest with you, was mismastered. That Blu-ray release did not look very good because of how it was mastered. It had some blockies in it, which really detracted from the image of that Blu-ray. And overall, that Blu-ray release, in my opinion, was one of the worst Blu-ray releases I bought. It was kind of like a burned disc almost, and it really was not great overall. 
So they didn't have to do much with this release to kind of improve on that, other than basically just not messing with it so much and scanning it and doing it correctly. Now, as you've been seeing up above of this new 4K scan, it does look drastically better colors. The lights to darks, obviously, with the HDR shine through a lot better. Now, this is an upscale 4K 2160p with HDR 10 on it. So because it's an upscaled image from the original 2K image, it is not as beautiful of an image as I felt like Tix was. So I'm kind of using these as a comparison between them, but overall Summer of 84 compared to its previous Blu-ray release is a big upgrade. The Blu-ray release before this, I just really felt had a lot of issues. It even had some audio sync issues later on in the film that every time I played it, no matter what Blu-ray player I played it on, um, there were some little things where like the kids would talk and then like the word would come a second later every once in a while. So overall, I thought the Blu-ray wasn't great. I loved the film, but I thought that Blu-ray release was downright not very good at all. And honestly, if I would have reviewed it at the time, I would have given it a really, really bad score because it just overall was mismastered altogether, in my opinion. I'm happy to say with this 4K Ultra HD release, they did fix all of those things. There's no audio sync issues. There's no lag between the audio and their voices. They fixed all of those things on the 4K and it just overall has a more pleasing and more filmic image to it that you don't notice anything off with it like I did with that Blu-ray that took you out of the film. And overall this 4K release they did is hands down a better picture than that. Now they kept the aspect ratio on 2.39 to 1, so they didn't change that at all with this new 4K. It's the original aspect ratio, the way it was intended to be. Audio options, you do get English DTS HD Master Audio in 5.1. So the audio mix on this is great, sounds crisp, sounds clean, but it's also a newer movie. So keep in mind, this did come out in 2018. So this is not from 1993. So because of the way it was filmed and things, there's not really any noticeable film grain in it because of this coming out in 2018 and how it was filmed. So keep that in mind, there is going to be a drastic difference what you see between Summer of 84 being an upscaled image and what you would have had in text. There is just such a drastic difference between the two of them. And I do appreciate that they finally released this on 4K because this film is one of my favorite, like kids out there having a fun time, mystery, kind of like an 80s throwback, very much so, like I said, Stranger Things that I absolutely love. And I really enjoyed this story. And again, it does have some great twists in it that really made it just a fun, enjoyable movie to watch. I think the soundtrack in this is really great too. Now showing you here on the side here, it does say Summer of 84. The back, it does have the cover showing some of the awards the movie got. Talks about the release on here. It is 105 minutes. So again, a more fast paced movie, but one that's very enjoyable. And I've gone back and watched this film now twice. So this is one of those films that if you end up getting it on 4K, it's an enjoyable film to go back and experience multiple times. Once you've seen it once because of some of the twists, you start to notice more things in it and it's just well done and well acted. Now going inside here, it does have your 4K with different cover art and obviously your Blu-ray copy. The 4K is where it's at in this release, though you do get the Blu-ray to watch if you do decide you want to watch that. But the 4K is where it drastically looks a whole lot better than what the Blu-ray was. And I am happy to announce on this release for my international audience and everyone, both discs are region free in this release. So if you want to import this through the link I put in the description section below, you can get this shipped to anywhere in the world and both discs in this are region free. So you'll have access to both discs, no region locking at all on them. So I always appreciate that. So that way anywhere, anywhere around the world, you can import this and buy this and that way you'll be able to access both content and both discs. Now I did forget to mention on my review of Tix that it does have reversible cover art on it. So the cover art that you see on this disc is the cover art that's reversible on the other side of the outside cover. So you get this cover art and then you get the reversible cover art. And I kind of forgot to mention that on takes, but now you know both sets do come with reversible cover art. So I do appreciate that and like when they add in those extra touches. So whatever cover art you like, you can switch it around and do what you want with it. So on the 4K disc that's in this set, you do get a BD66 on this as well, and that's region free. Then you also get the Blu-ray in here is the BD50. And this is the other cover art on it. On the back, it is the same picture on the back of both sets, the ticks and this, but you do get a different cover art on the front of both of them. So I like those extra hidden touches that you get to choose what you like. Now you do get subtitles on this, and price-wise for this, you're looking right around between about $38 up to about $42. So you gotta keep in mind with ticks, and with Summer of 84. 
These are boutique label releases. So what that means is it's a small studio, a small company coming out and spending extra time and work to release these. And it takes them a lot of time and money and work behind it. It's kind of like these 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons that they do. They take me a lot of time to get off of the discs and provide all this content to put into these videos, do all the special effects, editing, and to provide all this content for you to watch. It's the same thing with a lot of these boutique labels. I love a lot of these releases that are coming out on 4K Ultra HD that are being done by these companies because otherwise we'd never see them. These big studios, they barely want to touch the big releases that are out there, let alone a lot of these films that really should be on 4K. So I really do appreciate when Vinegar Syndrome and Gunpowder and Sky bring out these 4Ks so that way we can still own them in the best quality possible and add to our collection. So that's where I want to touch on that for just a minute. And so you understand that these boutique labels do cost more money. It's hard to rank them up there with the same thing as like, let's say a Disney release or something from 20th Century Fox or a dozen other releases that have come out. Because you have to remember a lot of these boutique releases cost them a lot more to provide these for us. So I did want to touch on that for a minute, just about boutique label releases. So you understand they are different than a massive studio that has a massive amount of retail stores to release these at. So keep that in mind when you are looking at these. That is why they do cost more for these boutique labels than what you're going to see at maybe a massive release that goes out to Best Buy and every store out there where they can sell tens of thousands of these. So keep that in mind, they are limited edition releases. Now, I really did enjoy the film, and I do think this was a big upgrade over the previous Blu-ray because of all the issues that were on that original Blu-ray release. And I do enjoy it and overall enjoy it, but image quality-wise, in comparison, as I always do on this channel, comparing it to previous 4K releases that have come out before, this one just did not have as amazing of an image as some of the ones before. I enjoyed it, I love the film, and I really think if you haven't seen the film, this is the only way to watch it because the Blu-ray release, as I said with those issues, this is the way I would buy it on this 4K release. My review score for Summer of 84 is a 7.7. .7. That's a good review score and it's a good release. It's just don't expect the image quality to be up there with just some of these basically 4K scans, restorations, and remasters. But remember, it was a smaller studio that filmed this film and it was kind of more of an independent film and it is a great film. And so that's why I don't want my review score of 7.7 .7 to deter you from this. It really is a good film and I highly recommend watching the film and picking it up. It's just 7.7 .7 is based on everything in the package. It's based on that cost-wise it is more expensive, um, Cost-wise, it is more expensive. Image quality-wise, it's better than the Blu-ray, but it's not going to be so stunning of a 4K that you're gonna use it as reference quality. And that's why I'm always gonna be upfront and honest with all of you when I'm reviewing these things, even though it's sent to me for review. I always wanna share with you honestly what I see and how I feel the 4K representation is on these. So 7.7 is a good review score. It's just not gonna be reference quality or so stunning that you're like, man, I gotta pull this out and show everybody. But this is the best way to experience Summer of 84. The audio mix is great. There's no lag or audio issues in this like there was on that Blu-ray when I originally got it. But as far as this release goes, hands down, if you want to experience Summer of 84, this is the best way to experience it. It's an upscaled image and it does look good in 4K. Just remember it's a 7.7, .7, so don't go into it expecting something that's just reference quality. But I do suggest picking it up. The movie alone is worth it, and that's where I said most of that score is because the movie is so good. Um, it's really one of those indie, mystery, suspense, thrillers with such a great 80s feel behind it that I do really think you need to pick this up, watch this, and get to experience how good of a film and just how much fun this film really was. Let me know in the comment section below if you're going to pick up either of these. I always love to hear from everybody. Let me know if you've seen either film. Let me know if you've seen Tix or Summer of 84, but make sure not to spoil Summer of 84 for anyone down in the comment section below. I was trying to be real careful not to give away anything too much because I really do think Summer of 84 needs to be experienced without reading a bunch of reviews that give away a ton of stuff and without watching the trailer. If you haven't seen anything about this, don't. Just go out and buy the film. You can buy it through the link I put in the description section below. And so make sure if you're gonna comment down in the comment section below, don't spoil this for anybody. I would appreciate that. That way everybody can go out and experience it and have a fun time watching it if they haven't seen it yet. I had fun doing this one today. I always have fun getting in unique and interesting titles 
So that way those of you on the YouTube channel that follow me continually get something new and exciting. So that way maybe something you haven't seen or something you haven't heard of, I can bring something to your attention that you can add to your collection and watch something new. And I always have a fun time when that happens too. Just like when I originally saw Summer of 84, it was a fun time getting to see something brand new that I hadn't seen before. And if you go down to those links in the description section below, they've been kind of going in and out of stock because these are limited edition releases. They do go in and out of stock quite frequently because they get restocked online and then they go out. So they've been going in and out of stock constantly. And let me know if you like B-movie creature features because this was kind of a fun thing. I haven't done a whole lot of B-movie creature feature reviews on this channel before, and I had a fun time with this one. Make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to give this video a like. Click the subscribe button and the bell notification right below. That way you don't miss out on any of these exclusive 4K, Blu-ray, image comparisons that I do here exclusively on my channel. I have tons of exclusive and exciting special content constantly coming out. And if you don't follow me on Twitter yet, you're gonna wanna make sure to follow me on Twitter that I constantly give out little updates about what I'm working on or things I'm talking to other studios about or things I'm gonna be getting in. So if you want some extra hidden content, make sure to follow me on Twitter. And I hope all of you have a blessed day and I look forward to doing this again very, very soon.